First tattoo that I gave to anyone else? Well, would this be once I started my apprenticeship or would this be, you know, my punk rock hand poking on people? The first ever tattoo was um, I, I reworked a guy's star on his wrist. It was terrible and I made it more terrible. The first tattoo I did was my own toes and uh, it just says Sarah Fable on it because if I ever die, I'll have a toe tag. It was on myself. And it was, I still have it, although I went over it with a machine later. It's a little motorhead ace of spades on my middle finger. The first one, first one I did was on my friend Kike. Mm, the star? The star on his chest. Ah, I remember that. And I remember that I got my whole kit, a big box with everything, you know? And I called him, I was like, dude, I just got my, my equipment. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm on my way. And he got tattooed that day. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I tatted a cat when I was about 12 years old. My little cousin did a big ass Tupac cross on him. We were kids just fucking around with a homemade machine though. My first one I did on my ex and it was two little bats on his wrist. And it literally took like forever and he still has them and it's been like a decade since we broke up. Um, there's no really fun story behind it. It was just like it took forever and I was super nervous and we like did it in a kitchen and it was dumb. Well, I had a friend who made a, a, a hand, like a prison style little electric machine. We, we got that and then we had a friend who was um, was wanted me to tattoo fuck you across his knees and it, it took me forever and it wasn't like the smartest or my most hygienic thing to do but it, you know we were young dumb kids and that's what we did and I imagine they healed absolutely terrible. First tattoo was a star on the ankle of one of my best friend. Mine's on an ankle too but it's on my ankle. Oh. It's a little anarchy symbol. Because I, I was a real <laughs> rebel back rebel. then. <laughs> First tattoo I ever did was a shitty pot leaf that I did on myself, right on my thigh actually. And I did it upside down as most tattooers do the first time, because I can see it. And then kind of like the day after I think, I did a shitty skull underneath the shitty pot leaf and now it just looks like some sort of like stupid pineapple or something. I don't know. The first tattoo I ever did was my graffiti cruise letters on the back of my homeboy's knee. For, Ouch. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the whole time I did it, he was, I was like, is this okay? He's like, oh, I'm dying, but you, you need to learn. <laughs> my first tattoo was like, I remember I was in art class and the kid was across from me and I was like, uh, hey man, I'm, I'm doing an apprenticeship at a shop. Um, would you want to be my first tattoo? And he's like, Fuck yeah, I want to be your first tattoo, which is the wrong answer. Like, nobody ever says that. But yeah. Did the tattoo, I was just freaking out the whole time. It was a tribal. Dude, I did a tribal, it was a tribal fish. Yeah, dude, Same this guy, guy got a tribal fucking fish on his chest. Yeah, was it this, it, like, fishing company or something? No, no, it, like, it looked like a fish. Like, I don't know, how it designed, it looked fish-esque. <laughs> as far as I understand, look, the dude hit me up, oh, fuck, maybe two years ago, and he's like, I want to get a white buffalo on my ass. <laughs> and I, I never heard from him since, so. So the first tattoo I ever did was about three inches on the back of a calf and it was a little motorcycle silhouette because my mentor would only let me do a silhouette um, and it was on one of my best friends and I remember doing the outline and I was so nervous and I was freaking out that I was going to mess up these circles and I hadn't gotten the stretching down that you have to do with stretching the skin during a tattoo. So my mentor had to come over and physically hold the calf apart for me to tattoo it, but it came out really well and he still has it. He doesn't want me to cover it and he hasn't gotten laser, so I think I did pretty well. Okay, first tattoo I did was on, uh, on a friend. I did a name. It was very simple and I was uh, very glad that it was a simple tattoo because uh, it's not easy doing your first tattoo. You feel your own heartbeat and you're almost like shaking and it's very stressful. But um, he remained as my friend and like three years later I had the chance to go over it again and he kept getting a couple more tattoos from me, so I guess I did a good job. So the first tattoo I ever done, I got my tattoo machine, um, had to drive through the snow and shit to go get it. Finally got it, got to the house, and I tattooed myself. And it was supposed to be like a split open, like you can kind of like a, a skin tear, and it looked like a vagina. How old were you? <laughs> I was 22. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> 
for sure. <laughs> On an actual person, I tattooed um, in a studio. First time I tattooed was a car salesman. He was an older guy, came in. Looked like he'd been working on a roof for about 30 years. Um, I tattooed him and he told me if I fucked up, he was gonna shoot me. <laughs> and he had a gun in the car. That's exactly what he told me. I ordered my tattoo equipment out of the back of one of those tattoo magazines from Superior Tattoo. And my girlfriend at the time, one of her friends, really wanted me to tattoo her, even before I got this stuff in. And she wanted a little blue cross on her ankle. So that was the first one I ever did with a single liner, packing baby blue into an ankle. So about four days later, she had a little blue hole on her leg, but in the shape of a cross. That was my first tattoo. They got better, but first one wasn't very high. So I actually did my first tattoo on myself. It is this little star. Um, it took me five hours to complete but that's why it doesn't look like complete trash. It's okay, right? Like it's, that's not bad for like the first time ever using a machine or like- I mean, it's there. No practice or any stayed for a long ass time. And I mean, for stenciling it on yourself, the point's <laughs> facing up like it's supposed to. So there's that. I mean, but then I got really like confident. I was like, oh, I got this shit, you know? And then I did this shitty rose on my leg. <laughs> First tattoo I did was on a really good friend of mine who me and him skated for a long time and uh, I did awesome with it and I fucked up the circles, but I learned how to do circles real quick for eyes. It was like a big uh, Hanya mask from the knee to the, all the way up his thigh. Why wouldn't you want to do the Japanese queen devil as your first tattoo? Like he wanted it, I knew what it was, I loved it. I wanted to, do, I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's fuck up your thigh, it was only fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks coming off a freaking Dennis Dwyer's machine and everything. <laughs> I was hanging out with a friend that tattooed at the time, and I was getting tattooed by him at a shop, and jokingly, I said, he was tattooing my left arm, I said, if you get tired, let me know, I'll take over, I'm right-handed. And he said, I'd let you tattoo yourself. I think this is like 15 years ago now. And um, I said, are you serious? My mom's 40th birthday is tomorrow. Can I really tattoo myself? So he let me make a stencil of the classic mom in a heart and I tattooed it on my left inner ankle right here. Um, and uh, that's when I knew I wanted to tattoo. I, he let me use the machine, uh, which uh, no, don't do that. I'm glad he did. It literally uh, unknowingly started my tattoo career, so. The first tattoo I ever did is, uh, you know, I went onto eBay, ordered a nice little kit. I didn't even know how to assemble it. And so uh, I drank a case of beer with my good buddy and I tattooed his foot while laying prone on my stomach <laughs> on his kitchen floor, and I pushed the pedal with my foot behind me, and then uh, he got an infection and went to the hospital. <laughs> it was dope. <laughs> it, it looks good now, it actually healed pretty good. I was 14 when I gave my first tattoo, and got my first tattoo. Um, when I got my first machine, it was a homemade machine, it plugged right into the wall. It wasn't uh, you know, a, a regular machine by any means. So I went behind, uh, my friend's house in this garage, and I plugged it in the wall, and I tattooed my buddy Phil. I tattooed the words "bling bling" on his arm, and uh, man, it took so long, and it did nothing but bleed. Like yeah, I cracked open a big pan, I poured it in a little cup, you know. And I'm trying to like uh, dunk my needle threaded uh, or my threaded needle tattoo prison style machine in this ink, and uh, so I'm just scratching this dude up. He's bleeding so bad, you know. I'd love to see it today. I'm sure it's like nice and textured, and I'm sure it's beautiful. First tattoo I ever did was on myself. My mentor didn't let me tattoo anything until I knew exactly what it's like to tattoo on skin, and I have the worst tattoo on planet Earth because of it. It's a little cherry blossom, and it's just blown out to shit, and I'll never cover it up because I can always know that, hey, look, you can be really shitty some <laughs> and be something better someday. I sat right here and just shook and struggled and panicked and sweat everywhere, and I was like, oh, that's permanent. All right. So it's funny, actually. The first tattoo I did, it was on myself. Um, I actually had a group of friends that were artists, and at this time, I had never thought about tattooing too much, or I never even, like, I just never had one, my friends didn't get them, nothing like that. But my artist friends were super excited to get this eBay kit. Um, we're all juiced about it, it finally comes in the mail. It takes us like four hours to set up the needle. We end up setting up a single needle because we have no idea what the other ones do. 
So I'm trying to figure out what to tattoo on myself that's not gonna fuck me up or I'm not gonna do it on my arm or something like that. I'm left-handed, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna fuck up my right arm. Um, so I ended up looking around and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna tattoo my foot. Mind you, I didn't really have too much artistic skill at this time, so I ended up picking a stick figure. And yes, I still have the tattoo. This stick figure, let me tell you, it took me almost two hours to do a fucking stick figure with a single needle. Right now, it looks all blown out and crazy and stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, it's probably one of my favorite tattoos. Probably add a little family down there or something one day, you know what I'm saying? More stick figures. It's literally, he's like this. And it's like the most shittiest drawn one because I didn't even use a stencil. I literally just like, how do I do this? I don't know. Mm. Stuck it in, ran a line down hella quick, and I wiped it, and I was wondering why the line wasn't there. So I went deeper, and then I went deeper. And then I was just like, man, this is a lot harder than it looks. It's definitely not like using a Sharpie. You know what, it's so blurry, that memory, that I, I'm not even sure who I did the first tattoo on, besides myself. But I'm gonna go with my girlfriend at that time. I was 16 years old, and I did a little rose here. Stick and poke with um, the ink from a ball pen. And I was so nervous. I could draw a rose, but I was so nervous about it that I actually drew it on paper and with little scissors went and cut and kind of did some type of stencil and put it on her. And then with the pen, I just went and drew it. And then I went chick, chick, chick. And the crazy thing is that this thing took is like this big. It took forever and we were 16. You know, as you can imagine, her parents were pretty excited of me banging their chick and fucking poking her with needles. All the poking. And then, uh, I remember it took forever and we did like two or three touch-ups and it was just a sewing needle with like thread. And I remember doing one of those touch-ups, like break the pen in middle of, of class. I was in like in ninth grade and my chemistry teacher or physics teacher, he was like a cool guy. And I remember he just looked at us and rolled his eyes and kept giving class. And you know what? I feel like I'm a tattoo artist. I'm around tattooed people. And if I would have seen that, I would have slapped the shit out of those kids and be like, yo, don't do that. 